Well, the weekend of the 26th, 27th of Feb, uh, the Mike on Street Fest is on again. Tell us about it. Yeah, that's right. Look, the uh, Dolce Italia Festival is happening all over again in Ligon Street, Carlton. Um, it, it, it's massively this year. It's, it's big. It's very big. Basically, um, uh, we're closing the street off once again. It kicks off the, the Saturday night. I'm uh, one of uh, five MCs uh, that's taking place because we've actually got four stages of entertainment this year. That's wonderful. So, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Lots of entertainment. Um, if I can just make mention of some of the other MCs as well because uh, some of them are quite prominent uh, in the the, uh, the Melbourne uh, community, the Melbourne Italian community as well. They include um, uh, Frank Latito, who's in a, a feature film coming up with Holly Balance. Mm -hmm. He's one of the MCs. Carmelina Di Guglielmo, who's also in that film as uh, playing the mama in Big Mama's Boy. Oh, yeah, she's, okay. She's going to be along. Um, another gentleman, uh, Frank Italiano, very talented guy. And my co MC is Liz Tripodi, who um, uh, does a lot uh, of, of uh, music. Uh, entertainment as well. Now we're going to see you in costume, uh, we're going to see you as yourself as James, and we're going to well, see I, you as uh, what? In any I, character? I the, yeah, I said to them I'd wear the mankini, <laughs> and um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was that problem about getting people to come to the festival again, and they said no, maybe not. No, not as any character this year, but um, I will be kicking off the festival as the MC of the Italian short film competition, Good. which happens uh, in the Piazza Gardens. Uh, on Saturday uh, 26, it's, it starts off at 6 p.m. Lots of entertainment, uh, lots of Italian short films, and we're actually uh, really happy to have a, an award-winning Italian filmmaker from Italy down at the moment. Uh, he's won a, a Golden Globe as well in 2009, and his name's Andrea Lodovicetti. Mm -hmm. Big name there. Andrea Lodovicetti. Lod yeah, that's it, and it's and it's not a pasta. See, see, I, I can. Well, Thank you. I, I can say that name. Now, can I get a part in your next production? Yeah, we, we, you can say that name. Yeah. You certainly can. Okay, all right. Well, well I can say legato and or music words. Would like some music words, you know? Yeah, yeah, because you're, you're... Crescendo. Forte. Yeah. I can roll the R's. Forte. Yeah, you see, if you can roll the R's, you can definitely be an Italian. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, absolutely. I'll just dye the hair black. Hmm? Is the hardest thing. That's it, yeah. <laughs> so, look, look, lots happening, I believe, for the... Um, the Italian Festival, and there's going to be, um, you know, part of the judging process as well. So we're very honoured to have him. James, this festival goes back many, many, many years. I said at the intro there, quite seriously, that uh, May and I used to come along for years yeah. and years and years, and we'd come out there with the kids. You know, we'd, we'd bring Jason and his brother and Karen, and we used to have a fantastic yeah. family day. And uh, then it spread to the weekend, of course. And yeah. how many years has it been going for now? Do you know? Uh, look, it, beyond my time. Yeah, it is, it is, yes. Beyond my time. And uh, I used to know the exact figure, so I won't even try and guess it at the yeah. moment, because I, I don't remember it, but mm. way beyond my time. In fact, it, it used to be, yeah. back in its day, the, the biggest street festival in Australia. Yes, it was, yes, it was. And it would go over the long weekend. Uh, Absolutely. I think it used to be over the March long weekend at one stage. Um, it, look, it was commonly known to, to actually go around the October-November mark. Yeah, originally, um, yes. Yeah, yes, originally. Yes, and yes. Um, look, what's happened is, you know, over the years, the different management groups have come in and, mm. um, and produced it. And so there was a period of time where we didn't have it as well. There was about a three-year gap where, where it didn't exist. But now it, it's back up and running. We're, yeah. we're all excited. And, and I'm happy to be part of the, the committee as well. Um, this year, which, which is keeping me very busy with, with the rest of the, uh, the hard-working committee. And also, Lee, this is something you, you might find interested in. Um, we're actually in the uh, Guinness World Record attempt to make the longest pizza this year. Uh-huh. 1.2 kilometres long. So right down Ligon Street. Yeah, that's right. Unbroken. Kick wow. Off midnight on the uh, Sunday. Yeah. And um, we're actually looking for 300 volunteers. You got anyone at home there? <laughs> uh, look, uh, my daughter's married into an Italian family, so I'm sure we can get someone down here to help you. How would you cook 1.2 k's of pizza? There's a, an oven that's been specifically designed and made in Italy. It's been shipped down to Melbourne. Yeah. It's put together and it cooks at a, at a rate of something like one point something metres of pizza in one minute. Go on. <laughs> yeah, so it's, you can imagine getting a steak on a fork and just giving it a little bit of a, little bit of a, a dip inside that oven and then pulling it out. <laughs> it's probably all cooked. That but, is um, huge. And do we get to eat this at the end? You, we, we will be selling some of the pizza. Some of the uh, some of it will be going to charity. Mm -hmm. So um, we're still deciding on the final things we're going to do. With See, that's that's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's it's going to be a lot of fun, and, and people can get involved. I've got an email address of the gentleman taking 
care of it if you'd like to volunteer. May yeah. I give you the email address? Please, please do, yes, please. The email address is tony at dmatinas, D-I-M-A-T-T-I-N-A-S, dmatinas.com.au. He's taking care of this. Right. And he's looking for volunteers, and if you become part of it, you'll get a certificate, and you'll get an apron with the logo on it, um, and you'll be part of history if we, we break the record at the moment. So you're up to 300 volunteers to make the 1.2k yeah. of pizza. What yeah, a fantastic out. idea! It, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. It's, Good. Uh, it's a big challenge. It's it's a nightmare, but <laughs> it's going to be a, a fun nightmare. You're going to have to let me know after the Sunday night when this is. Is this on the Saturday or the Sunday you're doing this one? This is going to kick off midnight on the which you know Saturday on the 26th. Uh, yeah, yeah, on the 20th, basically the 27th, being yeah. Sunday, it kicks off at midnight because the preparation has to take place and there's about 18 hours to get this done in. Right. Um, and we hope to finish it at about 5, 6 p.m. on the Sunday. Well, I must uh, touch base with you that week, uh, beginning of March, okay. and uh, find out how you did and if you got to the Guinness Book of Records. We'll, we might get you back on that Friday and yeah. have a chat and see how it did go. Yeah, love, love to do that. Mm, mm. All right, now the festival gets underway. Uh, it's on the 26th and 27th. What time do we start? Well, on the 26th, it's all in the Piazza Gardens. The street will be closed, but it's all in the Piazza Gardens. Kicks off at 6 p.m. There's going to be a, a lot of entertainment. Tony Pantano and his dancers as well will be there. Um, uh, special guests, uh, short films. One of my short films is being screened as well, The Ethnic, which I think I've talked about. You have, yes. About. You mentioned it, yeah, yes. Yeah, so that's all made and done, and that'll, that'll be screened as well. So um, lots of lots of Italian colour and entertainment for, for the whole Melbourne community. You've done a couple of movies recently, though. You were in something else, one of the major movies, weren't you? Um, I've had a, a few uh, roles here and there in, in a couple of features that uh, haven't come out yet, but uh, they're in there. They're in there in the books to come out. One's called Taj. It stars uh, Mahesh Jadu, who's one of the, uh, the neighbours at the moment. Yeah. And uh, another one is called Six Lovers, which stars Cameron Dado. Yeah. And uh, there's actually a movie that's uh, premiering uh, at Acme very soon. I've got a small role in that. It's called Production Hell. It's oh. a horror. A horror one. A Good horror. stuff. Mate, you're doing so well for yourself. I'm so proud of you. I've known oh, you for you so many, much. many, many years. And, uh, you have. You're a great guy, you really are, and uh, when I read about you and see you on Facebook and stuff, I think, you know, here's a chap that we, you know, we've had so much contact with and he's doing so well in his life. Congratulations to you, pal, it really is good, and uh, you've, you've done wonderfully. Keep Thank it up. Thank you so much for the kind words, Lee. Keep I always up. appreciate the support on your show. You'll always get it. We'll talk uh, just after the uh, the big pizza uh, cut-up, and we'll find out how you went. Great. All of us for a moment. Okay. Thanks, Lee. Bye-bye to you. Bye-bye. James Lioca there talking to us all about the Italian festival. It gets underway uh, at 6 o'clock on the 26th. Keep it in mind, it's uh, a great family day and the night and the Sunday goes all day. There's food right along Ligon Street and uh, because we have a huge Italian community out this neck of the woods, keep it in mind, friends. Go along and support them.